The CIS module within Sage 50 accounts is designed to take care of subcontractor invoices, work out your CIS tax for you, and invoices can be linked to projects to give you total control on your budgets and your spending, while the system works out all the calculations in the background. So what we'll do in this case, we're going to choose the subcontractor Denver Roofing and Building. We're going to say that this is actually for labour that they've done for us. And this is the point where you can link it to a project. So the projects that we looked at before, we had build four set up and we're going to link it to that job. The cost codes again you can customise yourself but we're going to stick with labour for this one. I'm going to put details in as labour and we're going to say it's a £1,000. So when I save this it does a couple of different things for me. It's going to save the outstanding amount against Denby Roofing and Building. So we can see that we owe them money. But if we go back to our project and we choose build four, then you can see that we've now spent a £1,000 against that job. So you've got your total budget and what we've actually spent. So as well as creating an invoice against that individual subcontractor, it links it back to the project so you can see how well you're doing against that job. Paying your subcontractors couldn't be any easier. So we can see that we've still got £1,200 outstanding against Denby Roofing and Building. So when we pull up their details, it's going to show straight away that we've got the £1,200 outstanding for labour. Now what we want the system to do is work out what CAS tax we should be paying on that. So literally, when we go to pay things off, it works out £1,000 is going to be paid to Denby directly and the £200 is being put to one side for CAS tax. So when we come to do our CAS return statement, it's going to be included there for us and we don't have to worry about it. The system's done all of the calculations for us.